Welcome back to our channel. Today, we'll troubleshoot a common issue with the Atlas Copco screw compressor. Let's dive into the possible causes and how to mitigate them. The first problem we'll discuss is high element temperature. This issue can be caused by several factors, and we'll break them down one by one. One of the primary causes of high element temperature is a clogged oil filter, with a probability of 40%. When the oil filter is clogged, oil flow is restricted, leading to overheating. To mitigate this, it's important to replace the oil filter promptly. As part of your preventive maintenance plan, the oil filter should be replaced every 4000 running hours. This will help ensure consistent oil flow and keep your compressor running efficiently. Another possible cause is a blocked oil cooler, with a probability of 30%. A blocked oil cooler will restrict the cooling process, causing the compressor to overheat. To mitigate this, clean or replace the oil cooler. To avoid this, plan to replace the oil cooler every 4000 running hours as part of regular maintenance. Finally, insufficient oil levels can lead to high temperatures, with a probability of 15%. If there isn't enough oil, cooling and lubrication will be inadequate. The solution is simple. Check and refill the oil if the level is low. Daily inspections should be performed to monitor oil levels and check for any leaks. This preventive step can help you avoid unexpected shutdowns. Low oil injection pressure can impact the performance of your screw compressor. The first cause we'll discuss is damage to the oil stop valve. With an probability of 30% inspect and clean the valve. Also, check the condition of the spring inside the valve. And to avoid future issues, inspect the oil stop valve every 1000 hours of operation. Regular maintenance of the oil stop valve helps ensure it functions properly, preventing oil injection problems. The second cause is a clogged oil filter. With an probability of 40% replace the set of oil filters. Preventive plan and to keep things running smoothly, replace the oil filter after every 4000 running hours. The third cause is insufficient oil level, with probability of 15% perform a daily inspection of the oil level. Ensuring the oil level is adequate is essential for proper compressor operation. Daily checks help avoid this issue. Motor overload can cause serious performance issues and even damage your compressor. The first cause of motor overload is faulty electrical connections. With highest probability inspect the electrical connections thoroughly and conduct a comprehensive inspection of all electrical connections every six months. The second cause is motor bearing failure with an probability of 25% check the motor bearings and ensure they are properly lubricated. Perform a yearly inspection of the bearings and lubrication system. Bearing failure can lead to increased friction and motor overload. Proper lubrication and annual inspections are essential to maintain bearing health. A high pressure drop in the separator is likely due to a clogged oil separator. To address this, you need to replace the oil separator filter after 4000 hours of operation. If the compressor is not loading, a potential cause is a malfunctioning solenoid valve, which has a probability of 30%. To resolve this, replace the solenoid valve and perform periodic inspections to prevent future issues. Another cause could be a malfunctioning loading, unloading valve. Inspect the airline for any blockages and conduct inspections every 500 hours to prevent this problem. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you enjoyed it, Please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel for more content like this. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. If you have any questions or feedback, drop them in the comments below. Your support means a lot to me, and it helps me create more great videos. Thanks again, and see you in the next one.